Welcome to the Flutter CI CD course over here. And if you want to learn some of the more advanced concept in the Flutter CI CD, make sure to check out my course in my website where we will cover all of the topic related to the Flutter CI CD with the code magic as well as the GitHub action. So let's go and see what are the topics that we will be covering over here. Let's scroll down. The first thing that we are going to cover is the continuous integration over here and we will also cover the continuous delivery similarly we will have the continuous deployment over here and we'll also make use of the code magic yaml file and we'll also cover the server code push and then we also have the github action over here so whole bunch of the topics that we are going to cover with the flutter ci cd over here and i hope you will enjoy this particular course as well as the topics that we have covered over here I hope to see you till then have a great day so let us continue over here and the uh, next thing that we have to do over here is we need to fix this particular error and uh, since the file is missing and which I have excluded from the git itself so what I need to do is I need to create that file in the uh, github action itself so, right so what I will do over here is I'll go to okay so what I need to do is let's go to our uh, year project over here let me close this one out and then go to the settings and from the settings select the uh, secrets and then the variables and from you will select the actions over here so now you have the uh, you have the two options one is for the environment secrets as well as the repository secrets and if you are using the flavor type of this stuff like you have the uh, dev flavor production flavor qa flavor and you want to you have a different uh, the URL for each of those so at that time it will be best to create the environment secrets over here but uh, since we don't have all of those complex configuration we just uh, have one project and we just want to extract that particular our base URL uh, the file over there right so what I need to do is uh, I'll just go and select this one and uh, i will create this one over here so what i will do is i'll just go and create the uh base right so bas the base url over here and, and then the base url i'll just go and say okay so i'll upload the uh, file over here base url file and i'll just go and i need to so you have a two options one is you can uh, provide the a base 64 version of that particular uh, uh, file right uh, let's say you uh, you need to create generate the base 64 of that particular file and then you need to provide it over here uh, another one is you just go and copy the content of that particular file and later you generate that particular file using github action so it depends it depends on how you want to do that one but what i will do over here is i'm going to generate the base 64 of my existing file right and then i'm going to uh, provide it over here so i'm here in my project and that particular file is inside the core and i guess that is inside the data and in the remote so this is the excluded file so i need to generate the base uh, base 64 version right so I'll just go and open up the uh, integrated terminal over here I'm using the Mac and if I using the Windows um, you can use the uh, git uh, git bus actually to uh, make use of the uh, base uh, base 64 command right otherwise you can find some uh, other uh, packages for your Windows but basically if you are using the git bus over there and uh, you can make use of the git uh, a base 64 command to run so i'll just go and say base 64 dash i and then the file will be of the uh, base and then the url dot the dart that is the file name that i have over here and i'll just go and run that one so this is the small file so we one of the one just string so this is the base 64 that i'm getting actually so let me just go and copy this one from here and let's go back over here and now i can paste that over here so base 64 url file that is what we have and let's just go and add that one over here now we have one of those over here and the next thing is that once we are running our action we need to extract this particular file 
so let's open up the uh, project one more time and uh, let's make it a uh, bigger over here and uh, that should be after so let's say after we check it out over here and um, let's say before running the flutter setup we want to go and extract that particular file so let's go over here and i'll just go and give a name and name will be of the uh, set up the i need to add that and set up the base uh, url uh, file over here right so if i l e over here so set up the base url file and what i need to do is i need to go and run my particular command over here run and in the run what i need to use is uh, echo so i'm going to echo that one and if you can remember that is inside of our secrets right so what i need to do is i need to make use of the dollar sign and double curly brace over here and uh, that is of the secrets dot the base url and i guess this was the file so base url file and let me open up that one over here so i need to match this one so the name should match over there actually so if you don't match that particular name it's not going to work so you have the secrets and then you have the 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 file name or or the variable name that you have over here echo the um the secrets dot the base url file and it's okay so what i need to do over here is is this is not a plain texture right? this is the base 64 of that particular file so i need to extract the base 64 so how can i do that one is i can just say the base uh, 64 and i need to decode that one and i need to decode that in the correct so i need to decode in in this particular location itself so if you go back to the uh, project and that's the error so i need to see where was that particular file so it was here so i need to go and extract in that particular correct location right otherwise it's not going to work or it's going to put that particular file in the wrong place so let's just go and add that one over there over here so leave code data remote and then the base url over here so now this should actually go and make use of our github secrets right and uh, take that particular base url file and uh, extract or decode that particular base 64 version and put that particular file into this particular location so i hope you got the idea how you can actually make use of that particular um, the missing file over here so let's try to go and uh, i'll just go and say the git and then the add right and okay i guess i'm not in the correct location i need to be in the root of the project so git add over here and then the git commit that's the uh, git commit that's the m and i'll just go and say the fix the mis missing base url file over here and i can just go and get the uh, push over here and once the push is completed it should go and trigger a new build for us over here using the github action so let's go over here and now you can see this is running the new build for us so let's wait for all of this to complete over here and finally you can see that it has been successfully built for us the green check mark yahoo right so let's just go to the summary over here and you will see that we got that particular green check mark and it ran for three minutes 44 seconds that's pretty cool right so just at three minutes you were able to build the apk over here and finally you can see that it has been uh, successfully completed and that's pretty cool so you can just go and look inside all of the information if you want right and in this particular lesson we learn how we can set up the github action secrets over here and which is basically the repository secrets and we were able to use that one using the base 64 format for our specific file so that's all for this particular lesson and i'll give you as a homework to go and configure the workflow for your ios build over there right but uh, obviously we are going to look into that in our, our next lesson till then have a great day